Oh my god. This guy is venomous, so I do have to be a bit careful. Woo! Yeah, this place is crazy. There's 30,000 gallons of water over here. That was bad. For our new fish tank, what are we? For the freaking YouTube channel tank, what are we? Hey guys, welcome back to Colson Critters. I'm Colson Smith, and in today's video, we are gonna be heading to Top Shelf Aquatics and be getting some new fish for Fred the Puffer's tank. The algae is getting fairly bad in there and the nutrients are super low, so I figured I'd get some fish to help us out with the algae, like eating it, and also just help raise those nutrients up. So let's go to the store. All right, so we made it to Top Shelf Aquatics. We're here with my boy Jed. Hey, he's gonna, did I just smack your sunburn? It was not, my, okay. my shoulder's fine. He's a little red. He went on a cruise. So we're here, we're gonna show you guys a little bit around the store. He's gonna give us a little tour, um, even though I work here, but you know, it's fine. Uh, I haven't seen this My one a aunt, times. so a huge shout out to her, actually got me a fish. Uh, we're not gonna show you till the end of the video. I'm gonna show you the coolest fish. This guy's super awesome. I've been wanting him for a while. Um, I'll show you him when we get to my house. So let's go with Jed and uh, just take a look at the store. Welcome to Top Show. So as soon as we walk in, we got this big tank here with this huge angelfish. Oh, one thing they don't know about is the tank's gone. Oh, yeah. The 1000 is gone. So if you guys haven't seen the video where I like set up the tank with Logan, I'll like pull up a clip right here. Uh, but there was a huge like 300 gallon reef tank right here. Which is actually now sold to somebody I've made a video with before, uh, which is pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna set it up. It's gonna be a big fish only at the customer's house. And I'll definitely be doing a video yeah, on it. So you definitely gotta check that out because it's I just know already it's gonna be slammed it's gonna be awesome. fish. So are we gonna be putting anything there, maybe? Um maybe? Yeah, I mean there's a lot of holes in the wall that not have a tank there now. So maybe something custom. Coming soon, maybe? Maybe, maybe a we'll tank see. gallon. So this is our invert wall. So a fish that really don't do well in copper and other medications come over here. There's also inverts, hence the invert wall. Dude. Snails, eels. crabs, eels, different types of anthias, diamond tail flash rats, freaking gorgeous Look fish. The glare. Yeah, I mean, that fish hasn't even reached its full potential. Uh, we got urchins, we got orange spot filed fish, really cool fish if you can keep them alive. Really delicate, but they've been doing better recently. One of my favorite fish, Fu Manchu lionfish. Look at that guy. It really has like a mustache. It's, it fits the name so perfectly. Should we get one of those? I thought you had one already. No, you I don't. get one. God. What are you doing? I don't have any lionfish, actually. That's your fault. So on Mondays, we move all the old fish from the front back Today side. Today is Monday, so. Today is Monday. Yeah. So all the fish got moved from the back side to the front side. All the new fish coming in tomorrow on Tuesday come to the back side. That way, you know, there's no established territory, so fish aren't beating up on each other. So there's no rip fins, all the new stuff gets thrown in together. They establish the territory together, minimizes losses because there's no real aggression and fighting. Uh, the yeah, fish look a little healthier, a bunch of different issues. Now I've done a full video on an unboxing before. Let me know if you guys want another one, but if you haven't seen that last one, go check that out. I got this gnarly frog fish over here. Look at that guy. So probably the most expensive fish we have right now is gonna be this black tang. Something really crazy. You can see it in the video, there he is. Black tangs are pretty common, but their price is still, there's no Where tag, it? oh. but it's sold for $2,500. Woo! Cha-ching. Yeah, it's pretty average. Look at him, it's pretty crazy. I like the blue like coloring on his back. Let me know, would you pay $2,500 for this fish? Would you pay $2,500 for this fish? No, but I'll sell it to you for $2,500. Yeah. Another pretty crazy one down there. Uh, so the Arani tilefish, which has been recently discovered within the last three or four years. Uh, it's a deep water species. Yeah, really cool fish. Uh, most tilefish can be kind of difficult. The Arani's for some reason are really easy, even though they're deep water. 
So the temperament are the Uranian tilefish. You know, they're really fun eaters. Uh, they can be kind of aggressive eaters, but they're not going to be, you know, big jumpers. You can put a net in there, they're barely going to move. They don't really react to anything. They're not as skittish as other tilefish. So if you want an expensive fish, you don't want to lose your money. Your Rennie is where you got to go. Fish is down there. We'll give you a quick look at him real quick. All right, that's all you get to see Fish today. For our new fish tank, what are we? For the freaking YouTube channel, tank, what are we? Over here, we got a coral. You, you're awake? Sorry, I got off the cruise. I'm tired. Over here is oh, coral. Oh, cruise. <laughs> Sorry, I was on a cruise. Uh, Sorry, I was on vacation. My fault. Um, Can't you over... see these tan lines? <laughs> you mean these burn lines? <laughs> 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 you can see the lines on your so face. No, because I, I had sunglasses on. Oh, and no. I never wear sunglasses in the sun. This was the first time I did. Oh, in the store, we have our big farm obviously behind the store. If you don't know, stay tuned. Uh, but a lot of this coral comes from our farm back there. Draw on house. It's used to synthetic water, synthetic light. You know, if you're a beginner, it's a lot easier for you because you don't have to worry about is it going to react poorly because it's not used to synthetic stuff. But it seems to go really well for us. Uh, then we have coral that we do not farm. It can't throw those trachea stuff that doesn't really have the ability to farm really in a, you know. <coughs> Quick cough. <break. coughs> Something that doesn't have the ability to, you know, farm out in an aquaculture setting. Then the rest of the store is kind of a mixed bag of everything. Euphilia is kind of half aquaculture, half we get from customers, some of it we buy from suppliers. Uh, the rest is a mixed bag, but what's nice about our aquaculture stuff is we have a full-time staff of farm uh, team members that you know, inspect, dip, and make sure that all our coral is as healthy as possible for you guys. What's your favorite coral here, Dad? My favorite coral here, I'm staring right at it, Rainbow Chalice. I have a pretty Woo! decent collection myself, but that one's pretty hot. That, that one's really there. nice, yeah. That's an expensive chalice, too. How much does that go for? I think it's like 1500 right now. I think that's even cheap for that. I mean, that's a yeah. chunky piece. So now this is our only display left. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, so in this tank, some of my favorite fish, you know, hand selected by myself. So one of the first fish that went into I this hope. tank, you did a little, a, bit. little bit. a little bit. One of the first fish that went into this tank is my personal favorite, Borby the Borbonius. He's actually out. Yeah, he's a staple. He's, like I said, one of the first fish in this tank. He's probably been here about two years now, I want to say. Yeah. However old this yep. tank is. Um, then next we added a captive bred yellow tang, and you're probably looking at it, that looks like a wild one. It's perfectly yellow. Well, once they feed, they're in established tanks for a bit. This is how they come in though. Clearly not the same, but again, I promise you, they, they look pretty yellow. yellow in the camera, but they're yeah. usually like, they're like a whitish color. But this is definitely- There's like 40 of them in here. Yeah. So in here we got some clams. Let's see if anyone reacts. No, no one's really reacting. Aw. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> that almost got my feet. Try to booby trap me. It shot me in the face one day. Pause. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we've got the yellow tang. Uh, next, that was actually this tank. There's a school of barlets in here. I'm not sure many of them left in here. They lasted for a good amount of time. They didn't really pick each other off, but I think we're down to four, maybe five. There were seven we started with. I think we've only really lost two. Um, the one pair, of them was tiny, too. Yeah. This is actually the tiny one though. That's tiny. Wait, really? Yeah, the tiny He's one. still alive? The tiny one's one of the ones that survived. Sweet. Um, these pair of clowns were traded in from a customer. They're extremely They're scars. They're really cool. We get a lot of comments about them. They're yeah, pretty sick. Gorgeous. Uh, and then lastly is the pair of blue star leopards. That's the female right there. The male the is right there. Oh, look, there he is. There's the male. And at home I have two females and one male as well. That's My male's nice. huge though. Yeah, they're a pretty established pair. It's nice to have, you know, kind of more difficult fish in the tanks. So we can show customers it is possible to keep these fish alive in captivity. Um, they've been in here a year plus now as well. We forgot. Uh, there is one more, maybe. Oh wait, well there's a cleaner goby. 
Oh yeah, that's forgot about him. That's whale. Whale. whale was traded in. One of the biggest cleaner gobies ever. But then, well, I don't see him. Charles. Where's Charles? I see a harlequin starfish leg. Yeah, I saw that too. Where's Charles? Charles is a little orange spot goby that Davis and I threw in here there's back little, in the day. Here's a feather duster. But I don't know where he went. Okay, no, we actually just couldn't find Charles. I'm sure he's in the tank, but you never know. Now we obviously got to see the farm, so I'm going to head over there. Okay, we made it to the farm. We lost Jed. Uh, he had to go home. Um, but the lights are kind of turning off because it is getting dark. Um, so I'll kind of do a quick lap. Uh, if you guys want a full detailed tour video of this, let me know down below. Yeah, this place is crazy. There's 30,000 gallons of water over here. That's how many tanks are over here. There's coral in every single tank. I mean, look at how crazy this is. This is where we aquaculture everything and kind of frag everything. Uh, the colors are just crazy over here. And then we even have corals in every sump as well. So, and look at this. One of my favorite parts is just these tanks over here. There's about like a thousand black widow and enemies. Like look at how crazy that is. Another really cool thing is the tumbling of the dragon's breath. I just think that's pretty sick. This is a macro algae. And it's just tumbling, it's super bright. This is the other half of the farm. So that over there was just one half. This is the other half. This place is absolutely massive. There's also a queen angel in this tank here somewhere. It's like a queen hybrid. Um, it's blue lights, so you can't see her too well. It's just coming up right to the camera. Super pretty with the long streamers. All right, we made it back to the store. It's time to bag up our fish, and then we're going to head home. All right, we made it back to the house with the fish. We also got an anemone over here as well. I'll show you guys that with the lens on the camera later. Um, I didn't actually show you guys what fish we ended up getting, so let me go ahead and pop them open the sink, and we'll show you guys. All right, so the fish we ended up getting was a fox face. And the reason being is because we had a pretty bad algae problem. So it was gonna help out. Now this guy is venomous, so I do have to be a bit careful. Uh, it stings not terrible, it's more like a bee sting, but I still have to be a bit careful. Here he goes. Already fitting in nicely. No one seems to care. And honestly, he's not even hiding either. Sweet. Welcome to the fam, buddy. So hopefully he takes care of that hair algae for us. Glad we've got him. He's super cool. Already out and about in the tank. We are going to need a name for him. Uh, I have to look back on the video actually before where I asked you guys to name my other venomous fish that we got. Um, I don't know what it up. I don't know what the name ended up being. I know for our Hogan Tusk, we did name him Harley, but I'll go back and look. We also have our 20 gallon setup over here. If you haven't seen that video, be sure to check that out. This is our brand new 20 gallon ice cap tank. All right, there is an enemy. That's all I'll show you for now until we get him actually in the tank. Uh, but let's go ahead and pop him open. Now we do actually need to drip acclimate this guy. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and set up a bucket real quick, drip acclimate for about and maybe a little less than an hour. We'll kill all the flow in the tank and we'll add them to the tank. All right, this is the hard part. So now we killed the flow, uh, the power head here, and then we just turned off the return pump there. So now it's time to add our add an enemy into the tank and we need to figure out where we want it. And we can kind of put it there, but it might end up moving because it isn't an enemy. All right, we're gonna probably put it right around in here. It's probably going to move um, knowing an enemies, but we'll see if we can get it to stay there. So let's go ahead and pop it open. Also, our powder blue is showing the fox face who's boss, so hopefully he's not too much of a meanie. This guy's pretty darn big, so we'll see what happens. But we're just going to place him there for now. Unless there's a better spot. Um, not really. It's probably the best spot for him. Okay, so we've actually decided to move it and put it up right on the top here, just because I think that'd be pretty cool. So now I need to move some of these bird's nests slash like random SPS we have right now. Uh, these were just for my dad's tank. Okay, now that we've gotten that moved, we're gonna go ahead and <coughs> put our anemone up here, but hopefully he'll stay. I think I'll have to like wedge him there. All right, well, I'll get back to you and he sticks down and he's open. All right, now that we got the fox face in the tank, I'm gonna need y'all to definitely leave some name suggestions for our fox face down below. Um, top comment like top live comment for uh the name suggestion will be his name or the most common name 
Jeez, our other fish here is bouncing around in the bag. I'm super excited to put him in. It's now time to put in the coolest fish that we got. So huge shout out to my Aunt Holly. She actually got me this fish. Um, so we're gonna name it Kibby in honor of her last name. So uh, leave Kibby in the comments if you like our new fish. All right, so the fish we got is a high fin snapper. Look at this guy, he's super crazy. Let's go back to the fish store and I'll show you me bagging him up and him in the tank. All right, All right. since Jed left us, we're stealing Jerry. Colson's critters. Oh my god, are you Colson's critters? I am. Can I get an autograph? I hate when the fish is smarter than me. Makes it way it. harder. Happens every time. This fish was bad. Fast. Oh. Oh. And he does tricks. And he's, and he's on the floor. We're charging you extra for him now. The 10 minute Tricks fish catching cycle. Oh my Why is he God. so fast? Look how pretty he is. He got him. He got him. And then on top, we got him. Here, wait, let me see. Or bring it to the light. Bring it to the light. And the specimen container you can't even see. Yeah, it's there. so blurry. Cinematic. Thanks, Jared. You're welcome. All right, now, now the damage part. Done, done. It has been a few days now since we've added our two fish. This here is Kibby. He's doing super well. Um, already pretty bossy in the tank. Look at the colors on that fish. Wow. Then here's our fox face over here. He's doing a pretty good job on the algae. He's been eating, picking at it. Um, the only thing is the powder blue tang has been picking at him a little bit. So we're gonna try to see what we can do about that aggression. Um, here's our new bubble tip. It's doing absolutely amazing. It's huge in this tank. Um, looking super good. Forgot to mention we do have our two fish down here as well. We have our clownfish and the uh, Valentini puffer from uh, G our boy Jared. I don't think they have names either, so if you want to name them, go ahead and name them. But if they do have names, Jared, correct me if I'm wrong. I've also checked back on the uh, previous videos where we got this little guy, and the only name suggestions actually were all Rocky. So we're gonna actually name him Rocky, the big eye squirrel fish. So he's super cool. Leave a like for Rocky. So now in this tank we got Kibby, which is our new snapper. We got uh, Chalupa Batman, which is the uh, powder blue. We got Fred the Puffer, Harley the Harlequin Tusk, and Rocky our squirrel fish. We do still need a name for our clownfish and for the new fox face. So leave those down below and we'll get some names for these guys. Also stay tuned for this tank because I'm be doing a full update on it and getting a fish, the first fish for it as well. Alright, so that's gonna wrap today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, let me know down below. Also leave a like for our new fish here and leave some name suggestions as well. Till next time, peace!